<laughs> Welcome back to Afternoon Express. If you've just joined us, Kim and I are about to get started on our one-pot Italian dinner, but courtesy of Sea Harvest. That's right. So today I'm using the Sea Harvest King Clip fillets. Uh -huh. So just, just kick off with, we have to have a base of every type of stew. Today the dish is kind of like a stew, it's kind of like a fishy broth yeah. stew, perfect for winter. So I've got some onions in there, and I'll start to caramelize those. I'm going to go in with some baby marrows. Okay. You can just cut this up any way you want to. I really mm -hmm. love those. Mm -hmm. Give it a bit of a toss. I'm really loving this series because all I ever really do with fish is bake it. Oh, well, and nothing I'm wrong with that. And I'm all these different ways of cooking it. Yeah. And this is a quick one. And also, what's really great is the fact that I'm using this, the today's see how, um, the, the king see, clip yeah. from Frozen, which is quite different because normally you get them, you, you have to, like, to thaw, it. thaw it out, and you don't do that at all. So I'm going to go from frozen, I'll explain okay. why in a second. So you've just added some chorizo. Some chorizo, so that beautiful like red oil is going to come out there, starting mm. to use it with the marrows and the onion. Yeah. And let's go with the, if you can pass the tomatoes, it would be really great. Tomatoes, okay. You can actually just chuck those all in. All in. So and you're not we, chopping them? Nah, they're going to let the, let them pop open, all the juices come out, mm, okay. all good. So okay. like I said, I'm using the king clip from frozen. Right. The reason for that is it's got this natural like sweetness in king clip. And I find that using it from frozen, it actually comes out and it flavors the dish so much. Wow, I wouldn't have even thought of king clip yeah. as a bit sweet. It is. Yeah. I find it one of the more sweeter like um, fish that you get. And these are fish, there's obviously no one fish, two fish. Awesome. Speaking of the awesomeness of fish, Sea Harvest is giving away 10 mystery prizes. Pop over to our Facebook page and copy the link. It will lead you to the competition. Mm. So also, what's also amazing is the mm -hmm. fact that the fish is flash frozen as soon as it's caught. It's like, you know, so there's no like delay in the storing process. Right. So you know you're getting a good quality product and obviously it's sustainable, yeah. which is very, very important. Uh -huh. So the fish goes in there, fun to do its thing. And these are quite generous pieces. They are. You can actually break them up if you want to. I like them quite chunky. This is gonna. This is a meal that feeds four people. Okay. So we keep it. Everything happens inside the pot as well, inside the pan. Nice. So a little bit of the wine goes in. One pot stop. And remember, the wine actually the alcohol cooks up. So you deglazing with the wine. Fish and wine. Fish and wine, absolutely. Okay. So that's gonna start reducing. All the mm -hmm. alcohol is gonna cook out. Once okay. that happens, I'm gonna add my stock. And I'm using chicken stock. Right. We don't need to add a seafood stock because I mean, I know at home we all probably have chicken stock. It's quite difficult like to go and source good seafood stock. Yeah. Use yeah. chicken, no problem with okay. that at all. Okay, so obviously what you got is some um, garlic and chili. You can add that. Uh huh. Just mix that through. And what mm -hmm. happens now is it goes to the oven under the grill for about 20 minutes. So during that time, yeah. the fish will cook through and all the tomatoes and zucchini will blister. And all those flavors yeah. will blend. And you get this. And this you is see what, what I mean? it's going to look like. Super amazing, super delicious, but it's not done just yet. And when do we add the potatoes? After oh, sorry, the potatoes go in there as well. Yes. Right, okay. <laughs> Can so I add your these? Part side. <laughs> the potatoes go in, you pop it in there, and okay. then it goes to the oven. Okay, cool. perfect. So we've got our stew over here, and it's done at this, at this point. Mm -hmm. But I want to add a little bit of more color, a little more flavor. And to that, I use just simple basil pesto. Pesto, okay. And I just stir it through. There's this um, French dish called super pesto, which is soup, and then it's got like pesto stirred through at the end. Kind of the inspiration for this dish, and you get those fresh basil flavors. Right. And that's the, that's the soup done. That's our stew done. Cool. But obviously, so much sauce. It's so delicious, we have to serve it with a crunchy bread, uh -huh. which you've got on the side over there. All right. Okay, what have you done to that bread? Is it uh, just like... That's just garlic bread, I just served it up. Mm -hmm. And when we serve it later, we're just going to serve it with the crunchy bread on the side. So you can okay. like, scoop up all that sauce and a bit oh, of the fish, all yummy, the goodness. Oh, yummy, yummy. Absolutely love it. Pop over to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za, for the full recipe and shopping list. Let's head back to the couch with Jeannie.